Hey there, comic fam. Welcome back to Climbing Comics. In today's sesh, we'll be talking about my 2021 goals and how I plan to achieve them. Hey there again, comic fam. Welcome back to Climbing Comics. So today, I wanted to talk about goals and put my goals out there and kind of go over what I plan to do this year to achieve those goals. So, um, you know, kind of going back to 2020 and having my goals for 2020, I thought I could take some lessons learned from then and kind of bring them and kind of improve on them into 2021. So I broke down my goals in 2020 into two separate things, right? One was comic collecting goals and two was kind of comic knowledge goals, right? Because coming back into comics in 2019, I felt like I had a lot of gaps in terms of knowledge, in terms of, um, you know, storylines, story arcs, characters themselves. And I thought I would use this opportunity to fill that out. So to recap, in 2020, um, I had three main uh, big comic collecting goals. And they were collecting all of the ASM annuals, uh, starting from number one, 1964, uh, to this past year in 2020. Um, secondly was um, collecting all of the Dark Phoenix saga. So that was the Claremont series uh, starting, I believe, from 129 to 138. Um, and then lastly was collecting a lot of the um, Justice League Dark first appearances from the characters I felt like were part of the main team, right? It wasn't everyone, um, but it was like a lot of the main characters like Zatanna, um, Constantine, Swamp Thing, and whatnot. Um, there's one that I definitely missed out on. Um, it was um, Detective Chimp, and I'll always remember this very obscure book called Adventures of Rex the Wonder Dog number four. It was very rare, um, and it's very um, scarce as well. So those were that one was hard to find, but I'll continue to look for that. Second recap, um, in terms of comic knowledge. I started to read a lot of the early Amazing Spider-Man series, as well as started to read some story arcs just to fill in some of the gaps. So this year, this upcoming year, I plan to do something very similar in terms of comic collecting goals as well as comic knowledge goals. So the reason it took me a while to talk about these goals were my goals actually changed from about a month ago to where they are now mainly because of the investor announcement Kevin Feige had last month or about a month and a half ago in terms of what was coming out in in Disney Plus, in theaters, on streaming, everything essentially. So every time he name dropped a new character or a team, um, he actually, um, the prices of those books actually increased by quite a bit. So I had to change my goals this year and kind of to adjust those goals, I felt like, you know, it wasn't too bad of an adjustment of goals because like I mentioned last year, my short-term goals will always fit into my long-term goals. For example, you know, the um, collect collecting of ASM annuals was supposed to help fill out some um, amazing Spider-Man runs, uh, the Chris Claremont, um, you know, Dark Phoenix saga series helping fill out some X-Men and whatnot. So today I'll be going over my 2021 goals and um, in terms of both um, comic collecting and comic knowledge and I'm adjusting this year and I will be calling this year of my comic collecting the year of X. So the reason I'm calling it the year of X is luckily during this um, investor announcement, Kevin Feige didn't so much mention mutants or X-Men and, you know, it's not that they're like, you know, easier to find and easier to get, but, you know, it, it's kind of one of the, the not as like highly speculative uh, purchases right now for, for the masses of comic collectors. So I'm shifting gears to fit that. I've, I've kind of broken this down into a couple big goals, uh, one big goal and kind of one stretch goal. So I'll start off with the stretch goal because I ended up with 129 to 140 I and sorry Johnny my, my buddy Johnny this was kind of his goal from last year so I'm kind of um, copying that a little bit but it kind of fits into my long-term goal so I'm going to aim to to um, 
obtain a lot of the Claremont burn run, right? Starting maybe not 94, but um, from GSX 94 on to 140, right? So that is that main run. Second one is one of my big goals. So I'm gonna, you know, share some of my goals, but I'm gonna keep a goal in my back pocket because I wanna make sure that, you know, keep something for myself, I guess. So secondly, one of the big goals that I have is to obtain Uncanny X-Men number four. So this is like, you know, the first appearance of, um, you know, Scarlet Witch as well as Quicksilver. And, um, you know, that, it's a pretty big book with, a, with a, an amazing cover. It's, it's uh, pretty classic, right? So those are kind of my two main big goals. And of course, there's another one I'm going to keep in my back pocket and I'll, I'll share this later on with you. And um, I'll kind of go over how I plan to achieve those. But secondly, I wanted to go over what I plan to do for comic knowledge goals. So this past year, I noticed that like, you know, um, a lot of the content I came out with was kind of feeding into what I've done in my own personal reading, reading lots of first appearances, reading first appearance of Wolverine, uh, Doctor Strange, Swamp Thing, and, and whatnot. Um, those are big characters that a lot of people know about, and like there's a lot of information out there about them already. So what I want to do is kind of take lesser known characters and lesser known story arcs and kind of, you know, build that knowledge within myself and possibly share some of these stories with you. For example, like I know Shang-Chi is coming out this next year, so I want to, to read some of his first appearances and kind of share that story with you, as well as some of the different story arcs that um, feed into the things that we're doing right now, right? So randomly, I actually accidentally read Extinction Agenda, um, the X-Men series last year, and it, it really did feed into the new Dawn of X books in terms of like where Krakoa is, the the characters like Darwin and whatnot, and how they fit in the in the series as it is today. You know, there, there are certain things that I want to bring in, right? Like, for example, I'm a big fan of Avatar The Last Airbender. So not many people, well, some people, like my, my buddy Pretty Fly for a Filipino guy, like there, there are certain things we talk about. We talk about uh, Avatar The Last Airbender all the time. Um, I've read the, the novel, um, The Rise of Kyoshi, and Dark Horse actually released a, a ton of books. So I'll bring up some of these stories to you guys. So I'll be doing some of these um, comic knowledge goals um, this upcoming year. And secondly, as part of that, I plan to also, with my buddy Johnny, who's also very much into comics, we plan to have like a book club. So we, we read a certain like kind of story arc and probably discuss that within our podcast. So definitely check out our podcast. I'll add that link below. And um, so those are kind of my two goals, two big goals this year. What I wanted to kind of bring out here as well is how I plan to achieve those goals. I think it's also important for me to document this so I could look back on it and know if I have reached this goal or not. So how do I plan to achieve this goals? So, so I kind of wrote things down and number one I had here was accountability. So accountability for me is, you know, talking to you and bringing out and actually seeing out into the world what my goals are, except that one. And I'll probably do some checkpoints in the middle of the year as well as the end of the year to figure out and tell you where I am. Like I mentioned last year, sometimes goals will change because like the market fluctuates as to what's um, kind of a hot speculative buy versus not, but I'll definitely adjust based off of that. My whole goal this whole upcoming year is the, the X-Men, because I don't think that there are going to be too many things coming out in terms of the X-Men like movies or, or hopefully not too much crazy news about them. Secondly, in order to, to budget correctly, um, I plan to limit my pull list at my LCSs. And I say LCSs because it's more than one. Um, so I will definitely still support my LCS in terms of books, in terms of like um, what they have. But... I for sure need to um, lower down that list in itself because I have too many things. Thirdly, I want to say that know my habits. Knowing my habits is very important for me because 
I know like, you know, my behavior and like how I tend to react to the certain things. So I wanted to be able to compartmentalize, compartmentalize my budget um, and like kind of the nest egg I plan to use for comics. So one of the things I learned and kind of thought to myself as well was, you know, Reggie Collects mentioned that he has like one, uh, like a separate PayPal account for um, comics only. And so I last year also did the same thing. Um, in order to keep things separate so I don't have to look at things. I even went a little bit further than that and I opened up, um, you know, a second um, checking account in terms of things that I want to be comic related only. This way, you know, I budget, I set aside a certain amount per month and I'll put it into that uh, separate checking account, which I won't look at, I won't touch until I, I find the books that I want. So this way I'll be able to, you know, know my behavior, keep things separate, and kind of um, once I see uh, that the iron's hot in terms of a deal for a book, I will definitely strike. So those are kind of the things that I plan to do this upcoming year. Um, and I'll definitely give an update as to like other lessons learned that I have. Because, for example, having this separate bank account, if I, you know, turn to sell books, I'll be able to keep that separate. Uh, from everything else, from my own personal account and everything else I need to do in my life and um, focus and put things separate in this hobby. So, and I mentioned that it's a hobby because I want to make sure that, you know, I'm conscious about like, you know, habits and whatnot. So those are the things that I plan to do in order to um, aid this upcoming, upcoming goal. So in summary, 2021, comic collecting goals will be uh, Claremont Burn Run um, starting from uh, GSX to um, at least 140 and um, Uncanny X-Men number four. So I'm going to keep it very focused, very streamlined. And then in terms of comic knowledge, it'll be, you know, reading lesser known characters, lesser known story arcs, and um, kind of bring that to you. So outside of this, I wanted to ask you, like, what are your 2021 goals in terms of books you want to collect, in terms of knowledge goals, and how do you plan on achieving them? I definitely want to hear about like what you plan to do in the comments section below. And, you know, I'm, I know I'm course correcting and adjusting things this year, but definitely if, if you like this content, definitely give me that thumbs up, um, leave a comment, subscribe, and click on that bell icon to turn on notifications so you know when I come out with new content. Definitely thank you. This has been a great year. And, um, you know, to close things out, I, I want to say, and I think this will be my mantra, um, from my comic journey to yours, make it your own. Thanks all. Bye. <laughs>